Hi everyone. September 4th is World Sexual Health Day. It's organized by our friends with the World Association for Sexual Health. And the theme this year is Let's Talk Pleasure. And that's exactly what we're going to do with ASH's president and CEO, Lynn Barkley. She's one of the planners for this global observation. And Lynn, I know that pleasure is a topic that's been a pet priority of viewers for a long time, right? Absolutely. Thank you, Fred. Uh, not just me personally, but ASHA is a hundred plus year old organization. I think um, pleasure is an important part of our evolution, becoming a, a global, certainly national, but maybe a global internet uh, sexual health organization. So beyond the obvious that it feels good, why is pleasure such an important sexual health topic? I mean, what are some of the less obvious benefits? I think that if you can, if you know what gives you pleasure and you can communicate that to your partner, then you're going to have a much deeper connection with that person, right? Because you're going to, you're going to both and experience um, what great sex is meant to be, you know, highly pleasurable. So I, I think the big thing is you, you grow with your partner in uh, very positive ways. All right. So I mentioned that the theme this year is let's talk pleasure. And you just alluded to the uh, importance of talking with your partner. Uh, but let's think beyond that. Uh, uh, who, who all should we be talking with about pleasure? Well, I believe we as a society, global society, should be talking about pleasure and its many health benefits. But I also think we should be talking, as I said, first to our partner to our families, to our, you know, within our communities, which is how Ash has framed everything that we've done over our, uh, you know, existence. And if we could talk to our children in a young age, you know, appropriately about what to expect in terms of consent, in terms of, you know, does this person make you happy, et cetera, et cetera, do they give you pleasure? And we just roll it out like in a very uh, common way then our children would have better sexual health experiences. Um, and so, and we want that for them and we want that for everybody. Uh, so it's, there's, there's a, a very important reason we should be talking about this. And, and as you mentioned, this is not just the US or North America. This, the World Association for Sexual Health is encouraging really the global community to have this conversation. Uh, sometimes we get dinged when we put out resources uh, about partners. Folks will say, well, what about those of us who don't have partners? So talk <laughs> about solo sex, masturbation. That is equally important because, you know, um, throughout our lifetime, we may find ourselves in situations where we are partnerless either by circumstances or by choice, uh, or you never want a partner. You know, there are people who just have no interest in having that. But solo sex is really important. Masturbation gives us an opportunity to experience the pleasure when we want it, how we want it. We don't have to, you know, do any, we don't have to wait for somebody or for something to happen. And so um, that's an equally important thing. And I would love to think that everybody um, felt comfortable, you know, experiencing it and ideally talking about it. All right. Well, visit us online at ashasexualhealth.org to see everything we have in store. Uh, we really recognize September as Sexual Health Month, so we just don't focus on one day. So we have a lot of things available now. We'll keep rolling them out throughout the month, and uh, we would love to have you visit us. So Lynn Barkley, Ash's President and CEO, thank you for your time today. And listen, thank you, thank Fred. You. Absolutely. Listeners, thank you for tuning in. We'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.